Hello guys, I hope you're doing well, and uh, I hope usual usual story at the start of a Facebook chat is that I never know if anybody can hear me, or is online. <laughs> so, uh, I hope you're doing well, I'm here today to talk about, uh, have a live chat with you on our new show, our live release, which is... This Friday, can't wait, um, it's Celtic Thunder X, so we put a lot of, honestly we put a lot of work into the show, by the way I'm starting to see y'all, hello, hope you're well, hello Jackie, hello Laura, hello uh, Anne Hammock, hi from Texas, hello Anne, hope you're well, um, so yes, I've seen the Plunkett, hope you're doing well, so I uh, we have a new show coming out this Friday, a new record, well actually kind of two records, it's a doubles, it's part one, part two, so we have about 27, 28 tracks being released, Celtic Thunder X, uh, Thursday at midnight or Friday morning, whatever you want to say, uh, and it's two days away, we're really excited about it, we shot the new show last year, um, we shot the new show last year, in October, yeah, close to Halloween, the day before Halloween. So we shot it in Dublin. We had a great crowd. We had a lot of family. We had a lot of friends um, that were there watching it and supporting it. And honestly, for all of us, it felt really full circle. You know, it was sort of ten years when uh, I mean, particularly for myself, Ryan and Neil is you know that's ten years was when we started our careers really. Um, on, certainly on this sort of scale um, so sort of to go back and do that again 10 years later um, on a new show with Sony uh, new albums, completely new material it felt full circle um, and it was great we loved it, we put a lot of hard work into it to be honest um, we really knuckled down and we had a lot of meetings about it with our musical producer David Munro um, and um and we wanted a certain sound for each character. Character is obviously, you know, each one of us of the five. Um, so, uh, so we wanted a certain sound for each person. And we got that, we got a character, and we started creating a concept uh, with our producer, Sean Brown, who's brilliant. And then, yeah, we recorded the stuff over the summer, and then the start of sort of October, we did my not in September of last year, and then we flew home. And we started working on the choreography, which, if anybody knows us at all, uh, choreography is work for us. And also, some people have seen the DVD already, because from the CT website, I think it goes out, uh, a lot of people are just getting it throughout the week. And, um, and there's been a lot of comments on it already. So, for some of you that are waiting on it, everybody, I'm sure, it hits PBS on Friday, and it also is released in general stores, iTunes, all that stuff on Friday. Um, and I, I hope you love it. We worked hard on it. We're proud of it. Ten years of Celtic Thunder. Um, who would have thought? You know, we're, we're very blessed to be doing what we do for a long time. And, um, and we love the new show. We're proud of it. We can't wait to tour it in the fall. Um, so I believe dates are being released on St. Patrick's weekend and they'll be for sale around Easter so yeah that's about you know I'm excited to see what you guys think about it and any questions you have on the new release fire away and I will be here for about 20 minutes and I will answer questions hello Pamela hello Jeff Howlett Maggie Pellegrini Sue Kramer Ah, Sue, so you're very kind. My favorite young man. Thank you. <laughs> Marcy Wiggins, you're the best singer and my favorite. Marcy, you are very nice. Uh, Tanya, we went to the concert in Dublin and it was amazing. Thanks for enjoying that, Tanya. I'm excited for people to see it. Damien, are you guys still going to sing the old songs? In this show, it's a completely new show. Uh, we wanted to completely revamp. Um, not, not necessarily revamp the brand, but just completely bring a new product to the table. Um that we're proud of and that just you know gives it a fresh edge because after 10 years 
you know you need to you need to work hard on bringing out new material to keep it fresh and keep it going and keep the brand going. Um, so so we did that. We created a completely new show. I'm sure you know there's some songs that um, that we will definitely sing again that are not in this show. Like for example, place in the choir. I don't foresee that ever disappearing. But in this particular production and these particular albums, it's completely new except for Ireland's Call. So, I hope you love it. How did you determine what songs and what order to do the songs? I mean, that's our, our musical director, uh, David Munro, is is brilliant like that. His arrangements for this were stunning. Uh, some of them blew me away. Um, we have an opener, we have a new opener called Sons of Light, which is a melody taken that David put lyrics to. Um, so he did a fantastic job and we're singing uh, some chants and very it's very it's very Celtic Thunder um, so <laughs> I hope you like that uh, I love Sons of Light it's my favourite opener we've had since I hear Najan Krogera it's my favourite since that um, so uh, so I hope you love it as well I think it's powerful and Sharon got us these coats down to her ankles from Holland um, so uh so uh, yeah, it just it looks sharp. It looks strong. Will there be some more traditional Irish songs? There will. There's a lot in the show actually that's Irish. It's basically like half Irish and then a half uh, entertainment. Uh, we do a lot of Irish songs. My favorite is basically an original. It's called Tura Lura Lay. Um, and I think that's going to be a lot of people's favorites. Personally, uh, it's my favorite. Um, I love the song, and I would imagine that we'll be singing that a lot in a couple of weeks when we're doing promo and stuff for this. Did you have fun with the Bay City Rollers theme on Bye Bye Baby? <laughs> you know, I did. I there's a there's a guilty side of me that likes to be able to do things as a performer that I can't really do as a person, and I definitely in real life cannot wear six inch heels or platforms. Um, so the fact that I was able to do that on stage. And uh, try and execute that and perform that. I mean, that's you know, it's not often you get an excuse to dress the way I dressed. <laughs> so I mean, it looks absolutely outrageous, but uh, the performer in me just absolutely loves that. So and touch wood, I didn't fall once on those platforms, um, which is remarkable. But I didn't fall once. Um, but we have a long tour. We have a long tour coming up, and there is plenty of time. For me to eat it at some point in the future so you guys going to dance there is a lot of dancing in this show some people are delighted about that some people question that i don't blame you just looking at these questions uh, again i like with wigs Pulled it off in those heels. Thank you. Do you think this is the best album yet? Vivian? Uh, Vivian, I do. And I'm not just saying that because it's the right thing to say when you're releasing a new product. But I genuinely believe that CTX is... It's certainly our strongest uh, product in a very long time. I would go as far as saying that. It reminds me of the first show. Where, I mean, if we're all being realistic, the first show, in my opinion, was... Um, the best um, because it was just this feel of it was unbelievably organic uh, it was raw it was natural it was fresh for everybody and you can't fake one thing I've learned since 11 years since then is that no matter no matter what you do in your career you can never ever relive the moment that nobody is everyone in that audience had no idea what they were coming to see and to be honest in the very first show we had no idea what we were performing we didn't know what Celtic Thunder was. It was being created in that moment, in that night. So Poppy Love, Bird With Our Wings, uh, Ride On, Mountains of Morn, all those Celtic Thunder classics, Cumberland Hills, you know, all those songs, they were um, organic, raw, real. And it's, it's very hard to recreate that because, you know, a follow-up show is like a sequel of a movie. Follow-up show, you know, it's not new anymore. So you're you're just experienced and that's a good thing in some ways but it also loses that um, that just that very fresh you can't 
as soon as you've experienced, you can't be inexperienced. So, and sometimes inexperienced for a lot of people is relatable, uh, a good quality to have. So, I, but I think the new show, the 10th anniversary show, um, has that vibe to it simply because we really challenged ourselves. We did things that we've never done. Um, every single solo artist had a challenge. I mean, I sang Galway Girl, which is not the Galway Girl that you're expecting and that you know and love. It's a it's Ed Sheeran's Galway Girl. And I mean, honestly, um, I spent a long time getting the lyrics correct for that because it's not a rap. But Ed, Ed Sheeran kind of sings it like a rap, but I had to find a version in myself that was articulate and obviously the same tempo as the Sheeran song, but at the same time, articulate it better and make it clearer. And that's really hard when it's the same tempo because naturally it's fast anyway. So getting those words out um, was tough. And I was very nervous singing that live. I don't get as nervous anymore, but I was nervous singing that live. So. You are looking so happy and healthy right now. It warms my heart. I am all of those things. I am all of those things. Thank you, Wendy. Um, working hard, uh, staying disciplined, and um, feeling very fortunate to do what I love. So, that's my favorite solo from you in this album, Christina. Thank you, Christina. I'm glad you like it. Yeah, Galway Girl. So, there's also a lot of dance moves in there that are questionable. But it wouldn't be a Damien performance with like questionable dance moves. That's why I won Dance Week on Glee Project. Commit to it, even though you're terrible at it. It is great. And eventually you get less terrible, but you're still terrible. I was at the recording of the show, loved it, especially when I seen the five stills Westlife. Yes, we do. Uh, Seasons in the Sun is obviously a classic. Um, uh, we do that on still, so I hope I hope you love that. What's your biggest struggle you've noticed? Biggest struggle? Biggest struggle? Uh, I struggle. I struggle with this. I mean, I don't know if this is cliche or not, but this is just completely honest. I struggle with free time. Um, I don't really have a lot of it, but then I think that's the reason that I struggle with it so much, um, because you know. My schedule last six months has looked something like this. So in September, I finished um, recording my own stuff in LA. Uh, and then I flew to Minot to do CT shows, flew to Dublin to do our new show that's released on Friday, CTX. Uh, did the Kelly Thunder Cruise early November. Did a five or six week symphony tour. And then shot a movie, a Christmas film, which has been released in November. And then that sort of brought me to the start of February, and uh, that brought me to the start of February, and then I just, you know, released a pre-order of my new EP as well, and it's just like, it's always this constant stuff, um, and I've also been working on my own tour, which is April, May, so it's, it's like a, a list of endless, but that's the thing about being a, an artist, is that it is always a, it's a vicious cycle of constantly working. So when I have a free week or two on my hands, I mentally can struggle sometimes and that's just being transparent obviously I don't talk about that every day but I do I, I from time to time I struggle so it's important for me to have a routine and be disciplined and, um, and try and do all those things it helps can't wait to see Santa fake <laughs> Santa fakes a movie I shot um, I did it with Heather Morris and Judd Nelson Judd Nelson from the Breakfast Club is brilliant Jeff Fahey, who is one of my favorite characters in Lost, is also brilliant, um, among a list of other men and people that were amazing on the film. So yeah, that's being released in theaters on television in November, so I hope you like that movie. When are you coming back to Canada? Kevin, I believe, Celtic Thunder, we will be in Canada, I think, in the fall. Are you going to have any personal albums with your own written songs released soon? Yes, I just announced the pre-order uh, like a few days ago. <clears throat> so you can go to my own website and you can pre-order my new album now, which is being released on March 30th. It's called No More Time, and I'm very excited about it. I love A Bird Without Wings. I hope you come to Australia again. I do think we'll be back in Australia. We normally take two or three years in between. Uh, I've only been once. But if I was a betting man, I would say we'll be back 
2019. So, good afternoon from Oregon. Leslie, good afternoon. I hope you're well. Are you ever going to perform Bird of the Wings again? Uh, no, I, I wouldn't thought so. Uh, I, I like that that's a chapter. I've answered this question a few times. Um, but I like that that's a chapter that's, you know, it's there in the history and it's done. And it's served a purpose. And clearly it had a big effect on people because 10 years later it's still being spoken about. Um, so that definitely helps. Um, that's very kind of you, but I, I don't think I'll sing it again, to be honest. Especially with George being there. It's just it's a nice memory to have and it will never be able to be recreated. So... I like the idea of leaving it alone. <coughs> How about Jersey Boys? Can't wait to receive your CD. Thank you. Thank you for pre-ordering. Love CT, but you and Ryan are special. You are very kind. Thank you. Yes, can't wait to get a copy of your album. Thank you for pre-ordering. You're kind people. You've grown up so nicely. Thank you. Love the anniversary DVD. I'm glad you loved it. Um... I, I'm excited about it. Released on Friday, CTX. Do not miss it. Eric, did you? Eric, what's up? Did you struggle to memorize your lines? Um, for for the movie that is. Uh, I mean, it was really intimidating to look at on paper because if you've seen Home Alone, everybody's seen Home Alone, right? Everyone's seen Home Alone. Uh, the Christmas film. Macaulay Culkin's role in that, and that's the size of my role in this film, is a lead role. Um, so looking at that on paper, especially when I just finished a Celtic Thunder production, I actually learned I booked this film just before going on stage to shoot the new DVD. I found out that I got the part. Um, so I had, you know, six weeks to work on it. Um, and looking at it on paper was unbelievably intimidating because I'd never, I'd never done anything like that before. Um, looking at it on paper was scary, but honestly, I think you'll find when you have to sink or swim, you normally swim. And um, I had no trouble with the lines at all, which I was as surprised as as I was uh, relieved. So it all worked out, and I finished the movie when we wrapped. I, uh, I said to myself I know I couldn't have done a better job here so so I was really happy about that because no matter how it turns out I, I know I did my best <sighs> Pam Deering are you writing any of your own songs yes I just have a new release available on pre-order DamienMcGinty.com you can pre-order the CD now it's released March 30th thank you hi Kiara from Michigan hope you're well will Santa fake me in theaters or on TV uh, I'm not sure yet. Um, it's distribution. That's not really my job. I just, you know, do the movie and then we're good. So when I find out, you'll know. Did you like the outfit for Bye Bye Baby? <laughs> Bye Bye Baby was uh, the last one of our new show. For anyone just joining us, Kelly Thunder X. Uh, Bye Bye Baby is a Bay City Rollers classic. And it's funny, Sharon was talking to me and she was like, she says, um, hey, uh, you know every show that we do. This was the first studio production I'd done with Celtic Thunder in uh, six or seven years. Because um, Legacy, we filmed on the road. So this was the first one that I built from the ground in a very long time with CT. Um, and Sharp was like, I always love to give you challenges. Like Puppy Love or Young Love or Breaking Up's Hard to Do. Even Happy Birthday Sweet 16. Uh, give you, you know songs that are gonna challenge you as a performer because she knows she knows how to get the best out of me she knows what I love to do and she knows I can do a performance like Bye Bye Baby um, so she was like I thought I would just you know give you a challenge that's a little bit more difficult this time you're in six inch six inch platforms so I was like thank you Sean you are very kind and um, but uh, yes, so it's it was definitely challenging. The outfit was challenging, but I mean, as I said earlier, I loved it. Um, I love what David did with the track and the production on it as well. And um, it's very retro sounding, very old school. Um, so uh, 
yeah, it was great. It was absolutely great, and I hope you like it as well when you see it. So, CTX albums, DVDs, PBS, Friday morning. You can order your copy on CelticThunder.com, or you can go to iTunes and pre-order, just Amazon, whatever it is, go get it, because I promise you you're going to love it. And I'm really happy that all the reviews are good so far. People are, seem to be really enjoying it. Um, because you never know. It's always scary when you're releasing something. Will you stop and see B&K at the end of your slow dance tour? Your last stop is a few hours away from the B&K retreat, which is the same day. Well, I mean, I'd love to. Um, I didn't know that. Um, so, uh, obviously, Ryan and Nate are very, very good friends of mine. And, um, we, uh, I love their work, and they're really supportive of mine. So they're great guys. They are out on tour April and May. Um, with Vernon Kelly and check that out. And also, I am also on tour um, April and May. And you can go to DaveMcGinty.com and check that out. So, and also, I have Dave Becky joining me. Dave announced that yesterday. A lot of you know Dave Becky. He's a Celtic Thunder favorite. Dave is coming with me on the road in April and May. So, are you coming to Rama? So, yes, the CT dates, Celtic Thunder tour dates are being released uh, on St. Patrick's Day weekend. Um, so you're going to find that out. We have a lot of big appearances, which I'm sure the Celtic Thunder page will advise you on uh, in the coming days. We have a lot of big appearances to do promo. Uh, we have one big appearance in that I can't wait to do, and that's a big surprise, but um, it's pretty killer. And, it's something to take off the bucket list. So I can't wait to do that. We're all learning our... It's a... It's a yeah, I can't say anything about it. But follow the Kelly Thunder page and you will see what that is in... I would say pro, I mean, probably, I mean, if not this week, next week. So we have a couple of big appearances coming up to promote Celtic Thunder X. We are excited. I can't wait to see you and Dave perform together again. Thank you, Nikolai. I hope you're well. <coughs> Yeah, stoked to have Dave Beggy coming. When are you coming back to Pittsburgh? I'm there in April. Um, so you can check that out. Uh, but Celtic Thunder will be there. I would say we'll be there in for sure in the fall. Probably September, October, or November. Are you coming to Bethlehem, PA? We will be, yes. So, as I say, Celtic Thunder tour dates. Some Patrick's Day weekend. And they're going to go on sale for pre-sale members um, around Easter. I believe so I have a feeling there's going to be a big tour um, because that normally happens with a new product so I think it's going to be a big tour so be early in getting your tickets this time so I will do 10 more minutes and then I'll love you and leave you if you have any more questions uh, just let me know you're the best thank you Sarah <laughs> it's very nice of you Are you, Damien, going on the cruise in November? What cruise? We just did a cruise. Is there another cruise? I don't know what. You started early with CT. I did start early. Love your accent. Need to come to Houston, Texas. Misty, I am coming to Houston, Texas in April. You can check out those dates. Looking forward to KCET airing of CTX in LA this Friday. Yes, folks, check out your PBS station. Um... They're going to start airing the show now on Friday morning when it's released. So across the country, PBS everywhere, CTX is going to be airing. Um, check it out. Please uh, check it out. Support it. Um, we wouldn't be where we are without PBS. Uh, we love PBS. and They're very supportive of us and us vice versa now. So, uh, yeah, for sure. PBS, Friday morning in your local area. Check it out. And... A few of us will be making appearances on PBS um, inside the next sort of 10 days. Um, so we'll be on your TV screens very soon. Can't wait for you to see the new show. And thank you for all tuning in, by the way. There was, there's been a lot of people on here <laughs> in, the last, uh, in the last 30 minutes. So thank you for joining me on this chat we're getting a lot of traction 
Um, can't wait. Do you still raise the eyebrow while singing? I do. Definitely do. Hey, Damo, which PBS stations are you going to visit? Uh, I'm in LA March 8th, I think. And then I'm in Arizona. I'm, in, I'm, in, I'm, in, I'm doing a couple. I'm doing a handful. So check it out on that. And then I'm also doing Chicago, I believe. Uh, already have it set to record. Good work. Also get the DVD so then you can watch it whenever you want. You don't have to record it. Great idea. Yes, David McGinty. When I retire, I will be marketing. I want some coffee. Thank you for taking the time to chat with us. Regina, you were very kind, of course. Will we see you down under in Australia? Uh, I would say soon. I would say CT will be back soon. It won't be far. Um, it won't be long. My guess would be 2019. If not, definitely 2020. You coming to St. Louis, Missouri? Yes, in the fall. Check it out. Date's being released on St. Patrick's weekend. Tonight at 8 p.m. on PBS, Lancaster, California. Tonight? I guess the new show is starting earlier than I thought. So check it out. I'm so excited to meet you in April. Pestered my grandpa to no end by seeing you in Ohio. <laughs> Poor grandma. I'm sorry. Um, I'm excited to go out in April. I can't wait. Where are you chatting from? I'm on my balcony. When are you announcing your own stuff? Kayla, I just announced my own stuff. Uh, but obviously there's a lot more coming. But yeah, just DamianMcGinty.com. You'll, you'll see it all. But for now, the new stuff is the CTX DVD on CD, which is a huge deal on Friday morning. I can't wait for people to hear it. Michael's really come out of a shell. He has. Um, he's. I, I. I think. I think he really uh, finds his character in this show. And you know, Sharon gave obviously Sharon gave him a, a big role in the show for that purpose, um, which really helped him, and he killed it. So he's he's a good lad, and uh, he did a great job. Not that I'm anyone to be saying or rating his job, but he did a great job. Uh, will you ever come to Portland, Oregon? Portland, Oregon. I'm there in May. Will you ever come to Alberta, Canada? I'm sure we'll be there in the fall. Can't wait to see all Niagara Falls. Kelly Thunder X is fabulous. How long did it take to prepare for it? We recorded the record and uh, records over the summer. Uh, we started working on it after the inspirational album. Uh, we did a lot of emailing back and forth because we're sort of in all different parts of the world. But uh, it, it's it's months of work, honestly. So, so guys, five more minutes. Take a few more questions, and then. Uh, I'm gonna call it a day. I have a 4.30 meeting to attend. When is the next CT cruise? I don't know the answer to that. Um, I had a great time in the last one, so hopefully, you know, it'll be soon enough. A big hello, Barbara Harpantitis. Barbara, hello. What song are you most looking forward to performing this year? Yeah, a lot of the songs off of CTX. I'm excited to perform. Uh, there's some really good ones. I mean, I think they're all good, but there's some really good ones. Uh, Sun's Light, the opener is great. Tour of the LA, I love. I love uh, Devil Went Down to Georgia, uh, which Ryan sings. Um, I love Go Away Girl and Bye Bye Baby, which I sing. Um, how would you describe CTX using one word? Uh, and the question blew out, are you older than Michael? I am not older than Michael. Michael is older than me. Um, how would you describe CTX in one word? Fresh. It's fair, isn't it? Veronica, how can I find a list of all of your music? Veronica, go to CelticThunder.com, find all their music. Um, and then all of us have all different websites where you can go to those and find our music as well. So We're like a big uh, circular family at this point where we genuinely support everything each other does and it's great. Hey Damien, love you. Thank you, Krista. Dude, Niagara Falls near Buffalo, NY, where you should come. There's an amusement park. I'd love to do that. 
whoever get time. Hey, Scott, I'm gonna hit you up about that. Can't wait. Thanks for always being so kind, Jenna, for your time at C2 Seals. Roberta, of course, thank you for uh, coming out to our shows and enjoying them. Um, we appreciate that more than more than you probably know. So, uh, most definitely. So, anyway, guys, bit is the soundtrack of U.S. traffic. It is, it, this is U.S. traffic. I'm on my balcony in L.A. and um, yeah, it's actually cold here today. Hence why I'm wearing layers. Uh, has this always been your intended journey? Intended journey? I'm happy for everything you are doing, Damien. I mean, intended journey is a hard question. Um, uh, no, no. I mean, it's a very easy answer for me, no. I never thought, um, for me personally, uh, my perspective on it is that I never thought it would get as big as it has got. Um, I never thought or dreamed that I would get some of the opportunities I've had. Um, and I never thought that that would happen all, you know, before I'm 25. So, no, I don't. I didn't think that was gonna, um, thought it was gonna get that big, to be honest. But, you know, uh, for me, it's only starting. Um, I'm excited. I have a new release, new album, March 30th, which I'd love you for all, all you to check out. Um, but it's just, I love creating music and I wanna, create good music that the world can see and hear and enjoy pull your windows down in your car and enjoy them and also create content ctx for example um, i'm proud of it it's full circle for all of us on that stage um it's a show i'm really proud of it's a performance that i think is really good genuinely and i think you'll love it so don't miss out on it you should swing the camera around to show the view as you end it Honestly, it's not that thrilling. CBS Studios across the street. Yes. Is it CBS? Pretty sure it's CBS. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck of a woodchuck could chuck wood? I don't know, sir, you tell me. Damien, you're one of my faves and can't wait to hear the new album. Thank you, Laurie. Give us that wink that you do. I I just can't do that. Uh, what song? What song is that winking? Bye bye, baby. Oh, I do questionable things sometimes, don't I? So, ah, there's me, Auntie Noin. Noin, I hope you're doing well. Good to hear me. Thanks for tuning in. So, two more minutes. Any dying questions do you have? Get in. Basically, morale is chat, CTX, do not miss it. Friday morning or Thursday night, however late you want to stay up. Um, I think this is our best show yet. It's fresh, it's young, it's uh, energetic, it's organic. And, um, and we also all just came together and wanted to create something good, something great. And normally when you come together with a group of talented people um, and aim for the same thing, normally it happens. So, Rosetta pre-ordered your EP. Thank you, Kathleen. Very kind. Kelly Thunder X, PBS March the 6th in Texas. That's next week. Next Tuesday, yes because we're on PBS across the states inside the next sort of two weeks. Will Dave be with you in Ohio? He will. Are your new songs from your life? Uh, my new personal songs on the new release, um, my new EP is, yes, they are very, uh, they're personal stories and they're uh, melodies that I wrote with Kian Sweeney, Matt Weir, Pete Wallace, uh, Ryan O'Shaughnessy, uh, Mark Kaplis. Um and I'm proud of these songs and I hope you love the EP as well so that's March 30th that's a while away for now we can talk about CTX bye Damien we love you for smile when you go bye Damien we love you smile for me when go interesting Rose <laughs> can't wait to see the show hope I get to meet you this time around yes so are you promoting any, this and any talk shows we are on a lot of talk shows uh, a lot of big ones, some big appearances coming up. 
um, which the CT page will update you on. I'm sure, if not the end of this week, early next week. So, look out for that. Seeing you for the first time. Yay! What's the name of your album? My album's called No More Time. Thank you. And I hope you love it. Seeing you is on my bucket list. Good stuff, Judy. I hope I'll see you soon. April or May. Not until March 25th here in Portland, Oregon. That's late, but we'll get there. What's your favorite Kelly Thunder album? CTX, obviously. Part one or part two, though? I don't know. I haven't actually seen the track list. Can't wait to see you in Three Oaks, Michigan. Thank you, Dwayne. Do you miss being on Glee? Eh, no. I can't say I do. I don't have time to miss that. Um, that was a chapter that is done, and I was happy it happened and uh, proud of it. But no, I've definitely uh, moved on a long time ago from that. And Sarah, last time a woodchuck can't chuck as much wood as he would like if he could chuck wood. I agree with that. Um, so, guys, thanks for tuning in. Um, we've had a lot of viewers uh, come and go, and we appreciate your support. Um, CTX Friday, March 2nd, it's released worldwide. Um, it's our best show to date. It's fresh, organic, energetic, everything you want to say about it. Um, there's two parts of this album. Yes, there is. There's two. There's like 28 songs, so it's a lot. So pre-order now. Go order, whether it be on the CT website or iTunes or any of that good stuff. Um, you don't want to miss this. And what better way to uh, spend your weekend coming up than to watch the new Kelly Thunder DVD and listen to the music because I think you'll love it. So thanks for joining us guys uh, in the next week or two you're going to be hearing a lot about CTX um, there'll be an announcement very soon about where we're going to be over uh, the March period because me and the guys are going to be here there and everywhere um, so tune in for that and I hope you enjoy the music uh, the tour is being released details of the tour are being released St. Patrick's weekend and it goes on sale around Easter so thanks guys God bless. Mwah.